I just need to see if I can sell junk to here. There we go. That is sellable. Wow, that's actually worth a gold. Not too shabby. Sellable. So it's placeable. things do I oh green just means I can use it that's right I'm trying to think here so I'm thinking when I when I see green I'm thinking mm, unique item it's like I immediately my mind immediately goes guild wars it's like is, is is it green because it's important or can I just go ahead and sell it which I think I can't you know, that was worth a plat nice I just got to see if some inventory space here. That's, I mean, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Wow. My God, this stuff is worth nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's worth a platinum, too, huh? That is worth two platinum, really. Sell you. Of course, you don't want that, so it's not quest or anything, right? Now, so I th think, yeah, because I did pass four, I'm gonna pass four, ten, four, five hit points. <sighs> Jesus, really. Guys, I missed here now. It's funny that's only four gold. Now these were the other things. Oh, I got two of these. Shit, I saw that too. But they say quest, so do I actually need it for a quest or not? I don't know. You're killing me, game. You're killing me with all this stuff. See, he doesn't want any of this stuff. Stop, leave me be, leave me be. There we go. See, it's this stuff. Do, do I need this? That's only worth a copper, huh? Black powder pouch, trade skills. I have no use for trade skills right now. All right, let's, you know what? Let's, um, let's just destroy this. I'm not going to use it. I got two equipped. Let's just get rid of stuff I don't need. This we don't know. This we don't know. So we'll hold on to that. I guess it's time to sell this thing. But it's the great staff of the Dark Apprentice. What's my level? 18. Damn it, I gotta level up one more time here. Two more times. All right. <laughs> I already need more inventory space. <laughs> Frick. <sighs> I 
I know the music, yeah. Doesn't it? It's like every time I hear, because you know, uh, every time I hear the Guild Wars soundtrack, it's like, oh man. Especially the original song, it's like I immediately get the picture in my head of the uh, of the campfire, the original uh, character select screen. But I like. Uh, it's like I, I enjoy listening to game soundtracks in the car on my way to work or if you, basically if I'm going anywhere I'll usually have you know I'll alternate between normal music and then game soundtracks so I'm actually listening through the uh, all the Guild Wars uh, music again and I'm finding that every time the factions main theme uh, pops up uh, on the rotations like yeah you know what I'm, I'm liking the factions main theme more and more but every every time it uh you know I, I listen to any of the Guild Wars music it invokes man the the days 15 years ago going through and hearing that music for the first time and uh, same thing with uh, like Star Wars the Old Republic when there's one particular um, tune that comes on uh, I forget what the name of it is but it's one that plays regularly on Tython which is the Jedi Knight and Jedi Counselor Starter World. Uh, oh, did you? Root? Yeah, see, that's probably what I got to do. I got to start ripping some of the music here for some more of these games just to listen to them. So I enjoy listening to, you know, that kind of stuff, the classical type, classical-esque, because technically I guess this isn't really classical music. But the in instrumental music. But yeah, there's that one. Uh, there's that one uh, tune on Tython that always comes up, and that just every time I when I'm listening to the to the the Old Republic soundtrack, and that comes up, it's like, damn, that takes that takes me back to those those first early days of uh, twenty right twenty eleven right when did it release December twenty eleven right. I think it released December 2011, so this would have been early 2012. Oh, I gotta remember here. The bank is this way. Every time that Tython music comes on, because of course, obviously, Jedi Knight was the first character I uh, I fired up. Oh, ooh, allspice. Oh, why not allspice? Five gold, huh? Where he worked it. it. It is. I mean, it is. It, I find it very. It's calming and relaxing. You know, it's sort of. It, it, it's my. It's my peace. Getting from home to work and and back and forth allows me to uh, just you know sit back, enjoy the music. Enjoy the memories it invokes and get rid of the rest of the nonsense of the world there. Oh, that's right. I, didn't, I need my bank. That's I need my bank. Bank. Banker, banker, banker. Uh, I guess it's, I, I think I pretty much... Okay. So we still have some room. Well, I need to. I just need to get some more backpacks for here, for the bank. Uh, crude fine emerald. Crude fine emerald. I don't think they stack, do they? Yeah. See, it won't let me put it in there. All right. Let's. Uh, the iron ore. That at least I can stack. This that's the crude, right? Uh oh, oh, it's the wrong crude. Tin ore. Uh, uh silverill. I think I have silverill. There it is.
What was this? What is that? Oh. If we, oh, hold on. I got a hold. There we go. I remember how to do this. <laughs> I don't remember what that particular one is. Um, what else do I want to offload here? Well, can I... If it won't let me put it in the shared bank, it will let me put it in the regular bank. Ah, yes, good. Let's do this. Let's just throw that in there, throw that there. Alright. Uh do 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 steel orb. Bloodstone. For quest. Is this power source? So you won't even let me. So it looked like, hey, perfect spot for it, right? Nope. Okay. Because uh, I can't bring myself to let that go quite yet. Oh, damn it. That's right. That's not a spot, is it? For Christ's sake, you're killing me, game. Oh, for Christ's sake, you're killing me, game. <sighs> See, I, I have to learn to let go here. It's only base damage 6, really. 18. Mana 13. Yeah, see, you know, this, this has all the uh, the other qualifiers on it. <sighs> Welp! That's a pain in the ass. How about we put you here? Uh, oh, what key is this? Oh, it's the Gloom Deep Master key, which I probably don't need anymore. very persuasive. Well, Brandy is. Alright, let's just do that. Um, can we do this? Yeah, see, the no trade stuff I can't put in there. E gods, Captain E gods. Uh, no scoutsman documents. Do I need this for something? Can't remember anymore. Cloth bolt. Pretty sure I'm probably not going to need that. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. That's something else. It's crafting or malachite. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Um. Now I can take this stuff that uh, uh, Peter Johnson gave me. Put that stuff there. See what other stuff that uh, uh, potion of speed. Hey, do I need it? Let's see, it's a new trade item, so I can't put it in the shared bank. Such nonsense. Um. How much are all right? How much are bags? Screw this. <laughs> Inventory maintenance, it's my bane in every MMO I ever played. Especially Guild Wars. Come on, please have a bag. You don't have any bags, do you? Frick. I could literally play Guild Wars for a week straight and still not have all my inventory. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah. 
See, that's what it is. And, and a lot of this stuff is like, is it for a quest I haven't even picked up yet? Because I've noticed that to where I can get stuff to, for a quest I don't even have yet. It's like, all right, do I save it now and maybe get the quest? When, when will I get the quest? It's like, yeah. Uh, all right, let's, um, let's go find somebody with bags. I just, I can't. Screw my hoarding capabilities here. Uh, let's try uh, bake, uh, I just I just need your I just need the basic merchant here somewhere. Yeah, don't uh, don't always have time to jot it down. Yeah, see, because um, it's like when I started playing Guild Wars. And then when I started playing Star Wars The Old Republic, my OCD is like, I got to do every quest. So I start just make quest lists. It's like, bang, just go through every single quest I encountered. Wrote down how much XP, the rewards it gave you, who you pick it up from, sort of the order that you go in of the quests. And it is like, oh my God, that, that was, that that's a... A game in and of itself, just trying to keep track of all the quests and stuff. Then, of course, Star Wars, you know, had to go and change everything. Which is like, oh. Fairy Merchant, that's who I'm looking for. I knew you were around here somewhere. Compulsive quest, exactly. And it's a real killer in EQ2, because it's like... All right, look, I got a quest done. Go back to the quest giver. Oh, he's got five more for me. So it's like, I'm trying to clear out my quests and it's not working. My quest log just keeps getting bigger. And it's not, he's not in here. Bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like, oh my God. No wonder they call it EverQuest because the quests never stop coming. It's like, I kind of got spoiled by... by Guild Wars to where, I mean, relatively speaking, it doesn't have as many quests. In the campaign as I've, like, just encountered just between Guild EverQuest and EverQuest 2. <laughs> oh, who am I? No, no, I, no, I don't want to fight, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to be fighting anybody in here. Trust me. Farron, that's who I want. It's torturous. I know. <laughs> it's like, is it? It's it's like I I have the I have that sort. Of, I I want it. You know, I have to explore. I've always been sort of, uh, and it, that comes from like the days of wizardry, wizardry, and and the eye of the beholder games, that kind of stuff. To where you had to exp you had to find everything. You had to explore to find all the secrets of the maze and get through to the bottom of the level. You had to explore and find the secrets and that kind of stuff. Like Eye of the Beholder, every level had some little secret you had to discover. Um, and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, yeah, I always went through, you know, yeah, yeah. It got to the point where you're going to every every wall as you're making your map. Go to this wall. Secret door, no. Turn around. Secret door, no. Next step. Secret door, no. Secret door, no. So it's like you were just, it would take you weeks to get through a level because you were going step by step trying to find every thing that was on that level and so that just carries over to here it's like I've got to do everything I've got to find everything I've got to do everything and so it's like oh my god see that's why I just I don't understand people who like oh I just skip everything I just gotta get to max level to end game it's like what what <laughs> you are missing 95% of the game why why would you do that don't please don't make me go back to Crescent Reach for bags. I think I'm gonna have to go to, back to Crescent Reach for bags here. Hog! Oh, oh look, Mrs. E. B. in the house. Hello, greetings, California. Mrs. E. B. Lore Croft games. I'd have to find every secret treasure, which was fun, but a real puzzle if you couldn't find. Yeah, see, that's 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 the thing. It's like if you can't see one secret thing, will lead to another secret thing, to another secret thing. So it's like, if you don't find the one, you can't get to the rest of them. So you're like, you're spending all your time finding the one that you haven't found yet. Oh, it's going good, Mrs. Eby. 
thank you for swinging by today. Much, much appreciated. Oh, God damn it. Why, why, why can't you just have bags? Why can't somebody just have some bags here for me? Fuck. All right. Uh... <laughs> It's fine, because I'm going to be starting uh, all the Tomb Raider games. Uh, is it this week? I think it's they start this week. Makes an inch like a crossword. You can't... Yes, exactly. And it, it, it's just... It, it bugs me, because it's like... I, you know, I've got to get it done. And I can't go do anything else till I get this done. All right, so back to Chris Beach. No. Oh. It's funny. It's like every time, every time I get into EverQuest too. It's like every time I start, you know, next Monday, it's like I'm gonna be starting the stream. It's like okay, let's see what's in my quest log. Let's get you know, and I'm going just by quest level at this point because I got so many of them. It's like okay, where are the lowest level ones? Let's hit each one of those. But like I said, it's like, okay, I got this one done. Oh, he's got something else. Oh, and then this opens up this one over here and that one over there. It's like, oh, oh, oh. it's like I, I, I complete three quests in the stream, but all of a sudden I've got seven more in my log. And it's, you know, it's like, well, I, I, I have to do them because, well, it's it's content. I wanted to experience the content of the game. And Lord of the Rings is like that too. Lord of the Rings is so bad because it's you know, you, you go through the tutorial little little tutorial thing in Lord of the Rings online and it drops you off in, in uh, the town of uh, Archet. But you still have sort of like your your lower level areas, like the Shire, uh, the this the the lower level Elf area, and all that kind of stuff. It's like you go through Archit, you're already beyond the lower level stuff. So you gotta go back to like the Shire, and start doing all the lower level stuff. Maps after a while, I do miss the EQ map site where you would use what would be a Haslam Dungeons. With golly and such. Yeah, I know. Well, see that, you know, back in the olden days when you used to make your own maps. You know, it, it was a novelty when Wizardry 5 came out and had the auto map feature. It's like, wow, I don't have to do mapping and get my graph paper out anymore? What are you talking about? What what insanity is this? I don't think, uh, I don't know. Well, you never know. He might have a bag. Somebody might have sold him a bag. Let's see. I don't think so. Yeah, all weapons, which we don't really need at the moment. So I've got to find the general merchant here. Gol oh, golly knolls. Okay, yeah. Well, see, that's the funny thing is, it's even here, there's some areas that don't have maps. Like the Blightfire Moors, there's no map to it. So I, I ended up, I had to go, f I, I found this, uh, this thing here. Th this guy, uh, uh, Breewall, made maps for everything. So it's like the, the areas that don't have maps, I've got to throw that map on because it's like I go into the Blightfire Moors, I got no idea where I'm at, where I'm going, or how to get from point A to point B. It's like, so I, I have to have the maps now because I, because, uh, I don't need my bankers. I need my merch. Jeez. I'm going to need Breewall's map here. Where is the general? I think I have to go up. I think this, I think they're upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go upstairs, see who's up there. Let's do that. Somebody's already up there. Oh, here we go. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, the glory days. Uh, uh, even Eye of the Beholder, I, you know, I, I have my own maps. I made wizardry. I was doing my own maps. And when I had my wizard... was working on my wizardry fan site. 
you know, I uploaded uh, I uploaded those maps to the to, to the site. I think I still I still gotta go back in there because one of these days I, I I have to finish wizardry one of these days. Uh, pottery supplies, uh, trade skill books, uh, quest supplies. I can see all the even all these trade skill quests I haven't even touched yet. Yeah, fletching. I know there's. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in Gloomy Deep Mines who had the bags. I don't have to go all the way back there. Now this is the official. The uh, this is Vox. Uh, I'm on the Vox server here. I'm on Skyfire in EQ2. But yeah, these are the uh, these are the official ones. I actually play through Steam. I started playing through Steam because well, I was just simpler for me to do that. Taz is back. Hey, hey. Yeah, the S. Yeah, see, I think, yeah, the, um. I say, because I have the NES, I have Wizardry 1, I think, on NES, because when I started playing the Wizardry ones on the, I actually started with Wizardry 5 on the SNES. It wasn't until later that I picked up Wizardry 1. I think I actually picked it up on eBay many years ago for for the NES. But yeah, I, I did a, most of the, my game time with Wizardry 5 was actually on the Super Nintendo. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure that was the same for, because uh, Eye of the Beholder was on there too. So I originally played Wizardry on a friend's system because he's the one who showed me Wizardry. In fact, he, he was the first one to have the Atari with Pong. So I always used to go over to his house to play Pong on the Atari. And then when he, he got a computer, I don't think it was the Apple. I think it was the... the because our first computer after the Aquarius, the Aquarius was our first computer. Then we got a Commodore 64. Uh, I'm trying to think of my friend. My I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Apple version. I don't think he had had the Apple. I think he had one of the IBMs. Because uh, I think that's I think Wizardry came out on the IBM. At, it came out on the Apple first. Then I think it came out on the IBM before it came out. On the Commodore, if I remember right. Is the oh the oh the PlayStation version is way too buggy, huh? Commodore loved Paperboy on that. You see, I played Paperboy in the arcades. I never played that on a console. Paperboy was one of my favorite arcade games to play. Crap! Why can't I find any general merchant here? I guess I need to do tracking, don't I? But I need to know the name of the merchant. I don't know the name of the freaking merchant. Yeah, see, that's not telling me anything. But uh, yeah, that was uh, yeah. We we had we had the Commodore sixty four with the old tape drive and the old baud modem, the baud baud modem thing that you actually stuck your phone ha handset into but yeah when i started playing uh wizardry it was my my friend had showed me wizardry on his his system which I, like i said i think it was the ibm um general general is that who i'm merchant here we go general merchant that's who i want all right that's who i want Where you're trying to take me here? The wrong. Okay, I'm I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I can't get over there. I, I have no idea where I'm going. Even... <laughs> Frick. Yeah, the, yeah the, the original five and a quarter inch floppy disks. I, I, oh, hold on. I think I can reach them. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Five and a quarter inches. There we go. I've got I've got dozens of them over here. So what are we got on here? Oh, this is my old password disc. Hey, where I saved uh, my website music. I got yeah. When I first started my website, I saved on here phone numbers. Whose phone numbers would I have on here? DOS Power Tools. Here we go. DOS Power Tools. Uh, MS DOS for the Gateway 2000. Uh, DOS 4.0, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> I can't. I just can't throw away any of this stuff. It's like classics. It's like a classic car. You don't destroy a classic car. You save it. You preserve it. <laughs> Still great if you want to learn machine inside. Yes, exactly. If you want to learn, yes. Yeah, see, I started learning basic and a little, I think a little bit of Pascal back in the day. But it's like, I don't, I don't have the mind for that. I just don't have the mind for for the programming. Right, you want me to go over here? Going in here. Am I here? I don't even know where I am. <sighs> where is? Don't have that anymore. <laughs> No, right? Yeah. But, um... Oh, crap. I'm all lost now. I'm completely lost. Where am I? All right, let's get back out here again. Let's try this again. Because that didn't work out for me. Yeah, ancient stuff. You bet you. I still have uh, my old... An old IBM sitting back over here. Uh, PC XT that has Windows 3.0 installed on it, uh, which is the earliest uh, the machine with the earliest version of Windows I was able to dig up and find. And a lot of stuff, a lot. In fact, I got a couple of machines over here. I got dumpster diving back. Uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Abstract Chinese or Japanese characters, wherever they may be. Uh, Soria, I'll call you a Soria. <laughs> Thank you, Soria. Much appreciated for the follow. Much, much appreciated. Um, yeah, I went dumpster diving quite a bit when I lived in a condo. And the stuff people were throwing away, it's like functioning old systems. It's like, oh, oh, oh yes. But now it's all dead. Like like that uh, PCXT died on me probably like five or six years ago. It won't boot up. And I'm, I refuse to throw it away because I, I want to fix it. But I don't know what died on it, whether it's just, yeah, dumpster diving, absolutely. It was amazing. We, I just, <laughs> like I got three or four old systems that I literally grabbed out of the dumpster because people just threw them away. It's like, no, I can play around with this. So, yeah, I got, uh, yeah. I'm determined to get that PCXT up and running again. I think I, I'm hoping it's just the power supply. So I'm going to have to go searching on the internet to see if anybody has some old PCXT power supplies I can try to throw into that thing and maybe hopefully get it up and running again. Just like EB, I can use it for something. Exactly. My, it drives my wife nuts. I won't throw any of it away. It's like I might be able to use it for something. And if I can't use it, I might be able to sell it on eBay to somebody else who's looking for it. <laughs> like another nut job like me who might be looking for it. <laughs> but yeah, I still have, I still have, I got a five, five shelf bookshelf over here that have all, like all my, all my games over here. All, all my disc based games and stuff. One whole shelf is all the old wizardry games. I got, you know, two or three copies of the wizardry trilogy. I got three copies of wizardry five and they're all either Five and a quarter inch discs, or the um, uh, the three and a half inch floppy discs, and they're all there. They've all got various characters and stuff on them that I want to preserve, that I want to try to play through. 
but yeah, it's like I got so I don't want to throw it away because I don't. And I, I've got a bunch of five and a quarter inch floppy drives just sitting around that I picked up off of eBay years ago because I was going to throw it into that old gateway system that I ended up burning out the motherboard on trying to change the power supply on, which killed me because because uh, I don't have any other system that will fit a five and a quarter inch flop. What maybe? Now see, well, Windows 10 wouldn't even recognize that drive anymore. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm determined to get that up and running again because that's how I was doing. Because I do have the wizardry, the ultimate wizardry archives, which I did a lot of my more modern day uh, gaming on with wizardry. Um, but the problem is with the ultimate wizardry archives is that you cannot transfer characters uh, between scenarios. Um, I, if I remember right on that one, uh, sort of, uh, you know, so you, you go to each scenario, you have to create characters from scratch. Whereas originally the way the wizardry games worked, you started wizardry one, you finished it, whatever characters you had on there, you can transfer it to wizardry two, um, and keep playing with those characters. Uh, but you can't do that on the archive, so that's why I want to get back to the, the the older games and 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 keep playing them on older systems if I can. That way I can go back and I can transfer characters back and forth. That way, when I get a set of characters of all the advanced professions, I take them back to Wizardry One and start them from level one. And that was all originally intended for my guide. I was going to try the guide, you know, doing my guide on the website, which, you know, obviously I don't have time for anymore. So I barely have time to play any of my... Okay. He, this is who I'm looking for. Odamari. So let's track Odamari. Merchant Odamari. Yeah, see, the old-fashioned stuff, it's fun to go back and play that stuff. You know, I haven't, you know, I haven't uh, gone back and, you know, like I said, I just don't have time to play half the games I got right now. But I did, you know, I, I, I played, you know, Wizardry for a long time up until, you know, two, three years ago. I still tried to play it on a regular basis, tracking. Uh, see, the question is, Odomari, what level was uh, he or she? I don't know. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, back in the day, no cares in the world and, and time up the wazoo, right? Oh, Damari. Oh, Damari. Let's go under O. Uh, so I'm assuming it's not going to be under Merchant. L M. Uh, oh, maybe it will be. Uh, there you are. I want to track you. Time, what's that? I know, right? I mean, literally, in a day now, I wake up at 4.15 in the morning uh, on a work on a work day, you know, typical. So five days of the week, I'm waking up at 4.15 in the morning. You know, I get, get a shower, get breakfast, get dressed. So by the time that's all done, I have 30 minutes before I have to leave for work. So that 30 minutes, you know, it's usually going into Stronghold Kingdoms, repairing my castles. Then if I have any time left after that, Maybe popping into Euro Truck Simulator 2 so I can drive a couple of roads in Italy and get Italy completely mapped. Um, but that's it. I got basically 30 minutes in the morning before work to do something, whether it's video editing, you know, getting, you know, castles repaired in Stronghold or, or doing something in a game. You know, that's and that's basically my 30 minutes of quiet time in the entire day until I fall asleep. Uh Oh, he's below. Okay, so I gotta go downstairs. So I gotta do this one. Oh, perfect. Man, we are busy today in uh, Crescent Reach here. Come on. So that's my 30 minutes. And of course, I go to work. You know, work. I'm, I'm there for eight and a half, nine hours a day. I come home. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, I come home. Oh, no, you're bartender, not general. Son of a gun. Vegetables. Well, do you? Well, it looks like you got bags here. Um, 
So yeah, so I get home from work in the afternoon. You're not gonna have bags. I know you're not gonna have bags. Son of my guns. <sighs> yeah, if you want free time, don't get kids. But that's that's what it is, you know. Erin's home by that time, which she's she's 14 now, so she's sort of, you know, she she doesn't need anything from me, nor does she want anything from Dad at this point, unless well, it's something that she can't get herself. Um. All right, screw this, because time's a waste in here. We're going to spend the last 10 minutes fighting something, for God's sakes. So obviously, I'm going to have to go digging around for a merchant with bags somewhere. So we will do that. Uh, that can go in the wrong way. I don't want to go back that way. I want to go back. Oh, yeah, I do want to go this way. I forgot I have his map on. So get home. So basically, uh, when I get home, Depending on how early I get home, obviously now I'm doing 100 days of gaming. So that's the first thing I do is that hour uh, after I get home is spent doing uh, my 100 days of gaming stream. Um, otherwise, normally it would just be one of my, you know, is, is it Tuesday? Lord of the Rings. Wednesday, Shroud of the Avatar. Thursday, Guild Wars. It would be one of those. Uh, so basically that's an hour to an hour and a half. Um, depending on what time I get home, what time I get the stream start, because figure about 4.30, I need to go pick up abs from school now. So that's, at, now that abs is going to preschool, that shoots out the rest of my afternoon right there. Because normally, beforehand, it would be, okay, let's say I get home right around 3 o'clock. Figure if I start, if I get fired up right right then and there, I just get down, I get ready to get streaming or get playing the game or whatever it is. It's like about 3.15 at the earliest I'd be able to get going with something. I don't know. I, I've been, I was thinking that the other day because uh, because I was, I, I was harassing the rogue. A couple of rogues. Over, well, the one rogue we, we took care of and then I guess we got a peace treaty with him. But the other one, the, the one that ended up destroying the snake's castle in La Poo, La Poo, I was harassing him for a couple of weeks. Nice tush there, uh, Brasina. Um, and I was thinking, it's like, you know, I should save some of these reports for uh, for a stream, but it's like, I don't know when I'm going to get back to streaming it. Because right now, it, it's I, I'm doing 100 days of gaming, so I'm not doing any other Extra Life streams. Um, so I'm not even doing World of Warships or anything like that. Uh, where do I want to go? I guess... All right, let's let's go back to let's just, yeah let's just go fight stuff in Blightfire. Let's make my life easier. We'll, go, we'll just go fight some stuff in Blightfire here. We'll we'll do some level grinding like the good old days. But um yeah, then after the kids leave and go away, yeah, families and his grandkids. Oh yeah, right. But um yeah, I the short answer is I don't know. I don't know when I'm going back. I, I want to get back to Stronghold at some point because I, I haven't really been doing much except castle repairing and the occasional throw down a statue in the parish uh, village. All right, I'm just going to find something. We're just going to start fighting here while I'm talking. Because this whole episode of EverQuest here, this, this last hour was just me wandering around aimlessly. <laughs> Trying to figure out what to do. Trying to find stuff, free up space, and talking old gaming. Which is, hey, it's fun to talk old gaming. But yeah, I, I don't know. At some point, I, 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 I do want to get back to do a stream. Eat, just so I can actually get in there for a couple hours and do some extra stuff. Do some village building. Because I haven't built up, you know, occasionally I'll throw something down in the village. Uh, one of the honor buildings or whatever. But I haven't... Basically, that's it. It's by 30 minutes in the morning. You know, some of that dedicated to just repairing my castles in the morning. When I come home, at some point between the time I come home and hopefully dinner, I get back in there, do the afternoon repairs. If not, it's usually not until the evening before bed. And that's all I have time to do in Stronghold. But, yeah, I don't know because there's so many other games I, I want to try to do regularly now. 
it's just I've got no time for a lot of for for I have no time for the ones I I want to do, including Stronghold. But at some point, I, I am probably going to at least try to do a week or two of uh, doing Stronghold to get back in there and just doing stuff. But it's probably going to it's probably going to if I do it, I'm probably going to just do it to where I'm doing some attacks or something to see if I can find a rogue to fight. If it's a no drop item, I don't want it. I don't want, and nope, because that's for, I know that's for a quest. That's for the uh, the bounty quest or whatever. So the short answer is I don't know. I will eventually stream it again. I just don't know when. Probably at least probably not till after the marathon in, uh, next month. Would be the earliest I get to it. But because because I, I want to try to get back to you know because I want to I want to do World of Warcraft Classic. I haven't been able to get in there. Well, Planet Zoo right now is taking up all my all my other stream time. I've canceled all games last week and this week on my uh, on this channel uh, just so I just so I can stream Planet Zoo because otherwise I wouldn't have time to do it. Well, that's you know what now that I think of it. As I post, I, I, I did the, me I haven't, uh, when I, I did the message, um, did this lock up on me, on this side, um, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the kid, um, quitter, uh, belated quitter, uh, he was somebody's kid, right, uh, he started playing the game a few weeks ago, but I haven't seen or heard from him, and I noticed that he dropped out of the house a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, right, Theo's grandson, that's right. Is he still around? Because uh, I haven't really heard hide nor hear from him, so I'm not sure what's going on with him ever since uh, you know, he either dropped or got kicked from the house. Because I was thinking of... Because I, I need to get another village in um, uh, Macomble, uh, Macomble Parish, because I can't, I can't get any gold out of that parish. Or it's very hard to get gold because I only got the one village in there since um, uh, one of our other guys uh, stopped playing. He had to quit because of school. Okay, I'll just I'll just capture his village then, because he's got two villages there and one is in Macomble. So I will. So I got I got to capture his village then because I need to, I need to get another village in that parish. So I can up up the gold intake. So I'll go ahead and do that then. And then when he comes back, we can just set up another village for him. All right, so that's good. That works for me. Oh, how about we melee attack? So good, we'll do that. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's probably, I'm probably, because, because, you know, for us, you know, you know, whatever I do in the game, it's going to be interesting. And, and, of course, we'll have, well, we'll be talking, you know, we'll be chatting with each other as I'm streaming anyway. But for somebody who's just on the outside looking in, it's like, well, this is going to be a boring game to do. So I want to do stuff that's a little bit of a variety. Instead of just sitting there, hmm, let's see, F figuring out the, how many apple things do I need here? Do we do this? You know, repair this part of the castle. Put this one building down here. There's not much going on unless I'm attacking. Doing a, you have a lot of attack reports to go through, so... I think I might have to go after that rogue again at some point, because he's up north in the House 6 parish, I think. He respawned up there, because I just got tired of, of, of harassing him. But I might have to go up there and harass him some more, even though he's he's usually words to whoever the House 6 player is in there now. So I might do that, or we might have to just find a rogue just to go ahead and start randomly attacking. That way I've got something to, to showcase around that stream. So we'll have to plan that. that. That's probably what I'll, what we can do at some point. But yeah, I mean, time-wise, it's like okay, you know, getting back, getting back to the time on why it's, it's so hard for me to get the stream on, you know, do do the streams like this, like we really can. I had so many reports saved up from the rogue attack from attacking a couple of wolf castles. Like it's like I, I'm looking at them. It's like I gotta get rid of these reports because I don't know when I'm gonna 
actually stream. So there's no point in having the reports there until I know I'm going to stream. But it's like, yeah, I get home. I, I have that, you know, before, like I was saying, it's like before Abs went to school, I was able to, uh, nope, don't want it. Uh, you know, basically from three o'clock until about six o'clock, about three hours, you know, is, which is a decent stream time. I would, uh, I, I could stream about three to six, but again, you know, that's the pound. When, when am I able to get the stream started? And then of course it's depending on how, how much abs wants to interrupt me during that time. So hence Abby, the troll, which is, you know, at some point it, it's cute. But then, then it gets to the point to where, now abs, now you're just being aggravating to me. <laughs> Stop it. But now, of course, now that she's going to school, I have to pick her up between 4.30. 5 o'clock is the latest I kind of want to pick her up. So now every day after school, it's like every, every day after work, it's like, well, now I'm down to an hour and a half at the most. If I start at 3 o'clock the stream that I have. And at least it's a peaceful hour and a half because, of course, she's at school. But then that just that just kills my good afternoon stream time there. So I go pick up abs, I come back, we, you know, we get back home. Well, now I gotta start dinner because my wife's not gonna be home till six o'clock. So I gotta get dinner started. So we're not eating. I hate eating it. I I, I want to eat it. my ideal time to eat dinner is at like five thirty. That's when I want. To eat. That's that's dinner time to me. It's five thirty because then that gives you you know the rest of the evening to relax. You know, have your dessert do whatever so unfortunately we usually don't eat till about 7 7 30 and then you know i gotta be really my ideal bedtime is like 10 o'clock because i gotta be up at 4 15 in the morning and that gives me about six hours which of course with planet zoo again hasn't happened at all the last week and a half so like the later we eat the less time i have in the evening to get anything done so it's like when I get back home, you know, five o'clock, you know, figure it's about five, five o'clock, you know, five, five, fifteen. I got to start thinking about dinner. I got to get dinner started. Yeah. You know, so by the time we go through all that rigmarole, we eat dinner. It's like May, if we're lucky by the time, you know, we act, you know, dinner and all that stuff is over. It may be six thirty, seven o'clock. If, if at the earliest, if we're lucky, Abby interrupt. Never. Yeah. Right. Never, never the abs interrupting me. And so, again, again, that depends. Now I have to make the choice. It's like, okay, do I ignore the family, go down and 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 do some gaming or streaming, <laughs> or do I spend some time with the family? <laughs> so, yeah, it's 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 like, okay, wonderful, great. So. It's yeah, so it's basically the only time I really have to stream uh, is that afternoon time right after work before Mrs. Weiler gets home, and and that's it. The rest of the day is is really hit or miss whether I'm going to be able to stream, or let alone play a game, which sometimes I force the issue and just okay, spend some family time, eight o'clock, get down there, get some stuff done, get some video, get something done. Uh, so I don't fall too far behind. And then, of course, it's bedtime. You know, I got I got maybe two hours to do that with, without invoking the wrath of the family too much, if I'm lucky. But, you know, that's basically it. My quiet time is 30 minutes in the morning. That's my peace time, my alone time is what I have. The rest of the, rest of the day, that's it. Until I fall asleep in bed, I get, there's no rest. No rest for me. So even if I was able to like do a stream, you know, like I said, it's, it's, somebody's coming down to interrupt me. Somebody, somebody needs this. Somebody needs that. You know, I would be back and forth up and stairs some days. It's like I can't. I can't do it. So even on the best of days, the most I could possibly stream would be an hour and a half to two hours. It's really, I mean, if you look at a basic quality Twitch streamer, they're streaming five or six hours. You know, if they're a full-time streamer, they're streaming at least six or seven hours. If they're a part-time streamer, they're still streaming three or four hours. It's like, I think, what was it? Yesterday when I was doing Farming Simulator, I got three hours, and that's been the first time in God knows how long I was able to get three hours in on, on a stream. I'll never get kids. <laughs> 
I, you know, it's it's funny. It's like I, they're 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 a part of me now. You know, I ne never the thought never crossed my mind. It's like when I was with my first girlfriend, there was no in no, no intention, no talk. It's like no, nah, that's right. No, no kids. No, we don't need kids. And so it was never, never, never an issue there. Uh, I think everything else is no drop, right? And then, of course, you know, when I when I met my wife, you know, and we had we had uh, Aaron, who was uh, a slightly unplanned. Let's let's call it that. Aaron was slightly unplanned. <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, deer in headlights is like, oh my God, we, I have this thing, this child, this little person's like, what do I do? What do I do now? What do I do with it? So I don't break it. <laughs> also helps to live 15 minutes from my work, 20 of them. See, that's nice. See, see, I'm 15 minutes from work. Uh, Mrs. Wilder, she's about 40, 40 without traffic. Uh, maybe 30 on a good day without traffic, but most of the time it's about 40 minutes, almost an hour, depending on traffic. Is. She's a little rough on her, but I'm, I'm good. Now. I'm, I'm basically 15 to 20 minutes away from work, which is nice for me. Nice for me. Which gives me my sort of extra time in the morning and afternoon. But other than that, it's like I just, there is literally no time because I've got, you know, because it's, it's work, it's got... I get the dinner going, that kind of stuff. It's just, there's no other. Why the, ooh, did I use, oh, hold on. I think I needed my headphones. All of a sudden, the sound's going. Oh, that's better. But yeah, it's, you know, it was, it's just that, that point where there's just literally no time. I would have to quit my job and, and do streaming full time in order to really do, you know, play all the games I wanted to play, to do what I really want to do from a content creation standpoint, both on Twitch and YouTube. Which, you know, obviously, we just can't afford that. I would have to have... I figured it out one time. I said, if I, if I, if I were to do streaming full-time, I figured out how many, how, many, how many subs I would have to have on each channel in order to... At bare minimum, make up for the loss of loss of salary uh, for me, and it was like I, I think I needed like 50 or 60 subs on each channel, so about probably about 150 to 180 subs, and I could do and I could do streaming at that point full time, uh, which which I would I would end up doing probably like five hours on each channel, so I would do do like five hours here. You know, Monday, say Monday through Thursday, you know, I would do five hours during the day. And then, say, on Channel Real Millennium Group, I would do extra live streams for five hours uh, in the afternoons to probably or, or probably evenings at night. Because figure I would start, you know, figure 10, 10 to 2 and then we would do lunch and dinner. And then I would do after dinner figure maybe 7 to 12. I could do seven, like 7 to mid, 6 to 7 or, yeah, I figure about 7. Eight, eight to twelve, maybe maybe four hours for for the evening slot, and then of course I would do my simulation streams over the weekend. I would do three or four days of the simulation streams over the weekend, and so alternate through that. So I would be streaming essentially ten hours a day, five hours. You know, essentially the plan would be five hours on two different channels each day, for a total of ten hours of streaming each day, and I think that would be doable. But, you know, obviously it's just in, until I can get those subs, it's just it, it's a non-starter. I can't do it. But, yeah, it's like, well, you know, the thing with the father is like, you know, it's sort of you, you never, you know, you, you have all the books. You get all you have all the, you know, you have the Internet and everything else, but it, nothing ever prepares you for Nothing ever prepares you for the, the parenthood. It's sort of something you do. It's something you stumble through all of your life, essentially, is parenthood. You never think you're doing it right. You never know if you're doing the right thing. You just hope for the best at the end of the day. Shroud the Avatar raid might have started something. 
Well, hopefully, hopefully. Well, the thing is, ever since that raid, I, the last two weeks, I, I haven't been able to do it because I wanted to do Planet Zoo since the beta is, is limited. So, I haven't been able to do Shroud of the Avatar. Plus, with 100 Days of Gaming, I haven't been able to do it at that time on Wednesday again. What I need to do, I need to go back because um, I connected with Strider Green and um, the other one who streams it a lot. Uh, I can't read the, 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 his Twitch name is named, I think, after his group or guild or something in Shroud. Um, so I got to connect with him, too. Because uh, we because when I was watching his channel a couple of weeks ago, we were we, we were starting to talk about some old games and stuff, old arcade games I think it was. So he's he's an old time gamer too. So <laughs> we might have a connection there, but that's why. See, that's why I really networking is, is ninety percent of growing your channel on uh, Twitch. Uh, you, you, essentially, what it is, I got to go to other channels about my size, you know, make, you know, big, bigger, like stride. So people are averaging figure maybe 20 or 30 people while they're streaming connect with them network with them chat you know chat in their channel and 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 that that's basically how i would grow my channel okay i leveled up excellent so we got that done that's essentially the only way i'm really going to grow my channel my channels at this point but again where's where's the time coming from if i'm if i'm watching somebody else's channel that means i'm not able to stream on my own channel so it's like if i have free time that's time i want to spend streaming on my channel essentially you know it's like so it's i, I have really practically speaking an hour and a half uh september through june an hour and a half a day for for a stream Minus, except of course, Sundays and Mondays. And only Sundays if Mrs. Weiler is working that day. If she's off that day, that's pretty much, that's family day. Which, you know, if I wanted to be the, the, the good family guy, well, yeah. I, but sometimes it's tough. It's like, I really want, it was counting on, you know, that seven or eight hours today <laughs> to be able to get something done. But yeah, it's you know, it's so it's essentially we're looking at an hour and a half per day, with the exception of Mondays where I could do my, you know, I could do my simulation stream in the morning, do EverQuest in Mondays in the afternoon, and of course from three to five p.m. I, I do the Extra Life for Kids channel, which I'm actually probably going to start early here. So where are we at? Yeah, we're over two hours already. So. I got I got to get uh, I got to get some lunch and then I got to get ready for it. So here we go again. It's like I I got the end of the stream here so I can go get lunch and get ready for the extra life for kids uh, stream which we will be doing Planet Zoo there. Well, let me uh, snare you. I'll just kill you. But we accomplished something in this uh this half of the uh stream I did level up. Which means I can actually scribe that spell too. Fight! Kill! Fight him! Thank you. Alright, and everything else don't need. Alright, so let's get into the plane of knowledge here. I'm gonna have to find a merchant who has bags somewhere. I'm gonna have to find somebody who has bags. I might I might end up having to pop back into Glooming Deep, is probably what I'm gonna have to do. Um so I'm pretty sure that's where I picked up some bags. Well, I know the barrels had bags, but I don't know if I can still attack the barrels for bags. I don't know if that'll work. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in Crescent Reach I bought these bags from, so I'm going to have to find out. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll end it here. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with the classic EverQuest again. Next week, of course, will be EverQuest 2. Having some fun. Uh, still in Antonica there. Although I think I might. Uh, I think I'm at the point where I might have to go into the Thundering Steps there. Um, but again, we'll, we'll see next week uh, what we'll be doing in uh, EverQuest 2. But thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me, everybody. It, it, it's been fun hosting everybody here this afternoon. Uh, good to see you, of course, uh, Mrs. EB and Taz, as always, my uh, SHK partners in crime. Um, uh, Oh, I had to let me get over here. 
And of course, thank you for the follow and hanging out with me today as well, uh, Asuria. I know I'm butchering your name, but uh, please forgive me. I, English, English is hard for me, let alone any other foreign language. But thank you for the follow and thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out as well. And uh, starting to, oh, the dist. Oh yeah, the discs uh, starting to delaminate. Ah, uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had a floppy drive. I, I missed that comment, but I haven't had a floppy drive. I've been able to check them in. As I know, some of them are still. I know some of them are, are going, are not not functional anymore. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you everyone for hanging out. Like I said, Dom, ever questing Monday every afternoon, generally speaking, twelve to two, twelve thirty to two thirty. That general area. We tried to get a couple hours in so I can get a couple of good YouTube episodes out of it. Uh, so, uh, and we alternate between EverQuest and EverQuest 2 each week. So, uh, we'll be back here for the original EverQuest in two weeks. Next week, EQ2. Uh, like I said, we will be starting on the Extra Life for Kids channel. Um, I'm probably going to start early because I want to end early today so I can pick up abs at a reasonable time. Extra Life for Kids and figure out dinner naturally. Um, but we will be streaming on that channel within the next, I would say, probably about 30 minutes at the latest, 30 minutes to 40 minutes, uh, doing some Planet Zoo. Uh, Planet Zoo beta is still running this week, so we uh, are going to focus on that um, on the Extra Life for Kids channel this afternoon and, of course, for the rest of my weekly, uh, my Tuesday through Thursday streams uh, right here on channel BJ Weiler. Uh, as well. I do have my stream schedule for the week uh, down below, so check that out if anyone uh, wants to see what I will be streaming, uh, what games I'll be streaming this week, uh, when I'll be streaming them, a rough approximation of course, and uh, what channel most importantly, because I, like I said, I do have three different channels that I sort of compartmentalize uh, specific streams into, uh, so you can check that out and uh, just join me uh, at uh, those days and times. It would be much appreciated to have you guys uh, hanging out with me uh, for each of those streams. And then next week after the, the Planet Zoo beta ends, uh, we'll be getting back to the regular schedule with Lord of the Rings on Tuesday, Shroud of the Avatar Wednesday, Guild Wars on Thursday, and uh, Secret World Legends on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, everyone. Until next time, I am BJ Wilder. I will see you guys in game. Thank you for hanging out. Don't forget, follows are free. If you like what, uh, like what we offer you here, Please consider uh, supporting us with a follow. Of course, subscriptions are always nice as well. Uh, but definitely, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, follows are always appreciated. And I hope to see everybody again next week for some more EverQuesting Monday. Until then, I'll see you guys in game. Have a fun week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Hope to see you again soon.